every video I create, I believe in helping you create new technology that can be innovative and creative. The way I create my videos is by making a wide variety of basic IT videos that are easy to understand and will create a base for your future IT creations. My tutorials are about IoT devices, design, databases, websites, apps and so much more. Hello world, my name is Asali, meaning basic in the language Hasa. In today's video, we will be playing around with a stepper motor. We will learn how to control one and how the stepper motor actually works from the inside out. The schematic. This week's schematic consists of just one circuit. If you look at the ULM 2003 driver, you have to connect the 5 volts, the ground and 4 pins of your own choice. I will be connecting my 4 pins to pin number 8 all the way up to pin number 11. So that's pins 8, 9, 10 and 11. Explanation. So before we start declaring again, I want to quickly explain to you how a stepper motor actually works so that the code will be more obvious for you to look at and understand. Now, the core of the stepper motor, so uh, meaning the coil, has 16 bumps, with each bump being either mag magnetically north or south. Now, if you remember, you had to connect four pins of your choice to your Arduino. So the 28BYJ-48 has inside four rows of each eight teeth. Each row can be magnetized to either south or north and the core will be attracted to one, or one of these sides making the stepper motor move in a certain direction. So if you multiply four rows by eight teeth you, uh, that gives you 32 meaning 32 steps before you get a full revolution meaning the stepper motor has turned around has uh, turned around once but wait behind these steps the stepper motor also includes includes gears and these gears cause cause a gear reduction of 64 meaning you have to do the 32 steps 64 times for one revolution meaning 32 times 64 is 2048 steps the gears are added to have a more accurate pointing degree i'm guessing now if you complete a revolution in just 2048 steps this is called full stepping you can also do half stepping which is even more accurate and better for the stepper motor to accomplish this meaning 2048 steps times 2 to be more accurate so 4096 steps for one revolution I will now explain a bit more about these different steps. Let's start with single phase stepping. This is the most simple one. So if you power each pin separately, you'll get something like this. This is great and all, but we can do better. The next is dual phase stepping or full stepping. Notice that this is much better and now you have two rows of teeth directing the coil and that's much better but still a little abrupt. Again, we can do better, introducing us to half-stepping. This is more of a combination between single and full-stepping, hence the name. Here, the coil will be pointed less abruptly and more accurate, but this adds a double amount of steps. If we put this into an array, we get this we will be needing this later on in the video. If you want a more in-depth explanation on how this, uh, how this actually works, I suggest you watch this video in the upper right corner or in the description as it helped me out a lot on creating this video. Declaring. So let's start with defining our pins. Now let's put our defined pins into an array. This will come in handy later on. There we go. Now let's move on to the setup. Let's start out our monitor firstly, like so, and we'll create a for loop to set our pin mode of each pin to output. 
instead of writing four lines of pin mode. On to our loop. Now the fun part. Let's do a quick delay of 5 seconds. And if you remember that array from the half stepping, we'll be adding this in now. If you are wondering where, uh, why, I'm, why uh, this 4 has to be included for this array, well, uh, this part of the array means that it is uh, that we are creating a multi multi-dimensional array, and the four stands for the amount of columns in one row. So meaning so meaning four in our situation. Moving on. Now each column represents a pin, and each row a step. For the full stepping, it looks like this, and the single face stepping like this. I strongly suggest you try this out as well to see the difference between these. Now we have to go through each step 4096 4, times or we create a for loop which will go 512 times through each step. So meaning 512 times 8 is 4096 steps. So let's create that right now. So 512 times through all 8 steps. Now that we have these two for loops, we want to create another for loop. This is to make each pin now do a digital write. But before that, we actually have to tell it what pin. Now, your stepper motor will actually do something. And after you set a pin, you want to add a small micro delay as well. The micro delay is needed after each step to give the stepper motor some time to get to the next pole. Now let's plug in our Arduino. Let's upload our sketch. And as you can see, it does a full revolution, then waits 5 seconds, and then starts again to complete its full revolution. There we go. So, what to do now? Go to Amazon and buy yourself a stepper motor, a button, some resistors, wires, and waste a lot of money, or buy the original Arduino Uno starter kit, or the cheaper version. Link will be in the description. There should be an affiliate link and a normal link. The affiliate link meaning I will get a small percentage of the price that you're paying for referring you to the product. This does not mean the price is higher for you, so don't worry. But if you want to support me, definitely go and use that link to buy the Arduino Uno and or starter kit. As well, there will be a link to my Patreon page contain containing all of my files that I used in today's video, such as the fritzing scheme, the Arduino code, and some extra comments that only people on my Patreon page will be able to see link for that down below or on screen so that's it for today guys don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on the next video and i'll see you all in the next one goodbye world